Warning, the following video is presented by BlakerDo92. Viewer discretion is advised. What's going on guys? So, I am uh, making a video and I want to tell you guys a new updated version on how I record YouTube videos. So, it's kind of the same, it's a bit different and I figured I'd update it anyway since that's an older video and I can, I don't know, I just want to make this video. So, first off, uh, for the face cam that you're probably seeing in the top corner somewhere, I just use the camera app that's on Windows 8. When you go to your start screen and then there's the camera on there, I just use the camera, then it goes to my webcam, then I record it. And I always have that up on my second monitor, which is the one that's not being recorded right now. That's, uh, that's how that is. <laughs> and then when I record the screen, I use the GeForce Experience and I use Shadowplay. So, I know a lot of people ain't gonna have this but it's just what I do so I go over here to shadow play and then I have all this stuff and I have it set up so I press all F9 to start recording so what I do is I have this all set up I have it where it just records in-game sound and then the mic just comes from the actual um, recording face cam and it uses my mic so I just use the mic here and then that just records in-game audio and then gameplay so I do it in high quality obviously and I have a manual mode so when I do that then what I do is uh, there's a little logo right here in the corner you can't see it because it's blocked off obviously for you guys that way you guys don't see that always in the corner of my videos so when I record that I start up the face cam I start recording face cam and then I hold alt down and get my finger on F9 ready to go and I say one two three click and when I say click, I start recording the fa that I start recording the screen or the game. So that way, when I go to edit it, I can just drag the click and the start of the game play right as soon as I say click. So it's lined up, and that's how I make sure it's properly aligned. So I'm sorry that I don't use a lot of stuff that a lot of other people do. I use Shadow Play, not very many use that. And, uh, you know, I use, like, the camera app and that. And I don't use Audacity. I don't use Fraps. I don't use that kind of stuff. But, uh, I figured I'd show you a little bit of how I edit. So, this is a completed Howler video from yesterday. So, if I, I, for editing software, I use Movie Studio 13 Platinum. And it's Steam powered. So, I bought it right through Steam. So, when you go to Steam, I got my software here. And it's right there. I've spent 162 hours editing video. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, I don't know if it's still on sale. It was. Here, I'll see if it is. Yeah, it's still on sale right now. It's usually 60. Right now, it's on sale 25% off for 45. So if you need it and you have Steam in that, I recommend doing it. Okay, anyways, back, back, back on track. So, yeah. So you do that, and then... Okay, so sorry about that little cut there. Um... When I opened it up, it went to my second monitor, so it closed out my camera. So that kind of was retarded. But anyway, so I made a new one called Howler. I already have one that's done. So pretty much what I do is I make a new one, and I have it set to where when I go here, I'll go to videos, and there's the Howler. So I want, do you want to set your project settings to match settings? Yes, you do. And I'll go to 1920 by 1080. Then I want to open up face cam. Which is the first one, yep. Yeah. So I'm gonna open up that. I'm gonna drag that there, drag that down. Then I wanna put them over this. I wanna turn myself way down because my mic was really loud in this video. But anyways, I wanna do that. And then if you see here, the the project is at 60 frames. So I wanna turn that down to 30. Just because I don't upload in 60. So there's no point in having it at 60. So go here to the video. Here's the start. One, two, three, click. Yep. And I just screwed it up. Okay. So there's the click. So I pretty much wanna. What I do is I go here and then I do my face cam. So I turn this down. I gotta make sure everything's cropped better. Afterwards, I just put it roughly up in the corner. That way it's out of the way for now. And then when I say do this, I go back. Three, click. So it's a little bit early, I think, because it usually goes a little bit later. Play. Right about there. Warning. So that's roughly it. I usually sometimes go through the video and verify it, but I ain't gonna do that right now. And then since the game is like that size, what I wanna do is I wanna zoom it in 
And then I just zoom it all the way in as far as it can go without cutting off the top or the bottom. Then I move it all the way over. It depends on the game on what I do, but this one I decided to just go all the way over. So I'd put it like all the way over in the corner like this. And then I just put that in, you know, roughly there. I would change it a bit usually, but yep. Then there's the video. And then what I do, and then what I do is I combine all these and I press G. So they all go together and they're all one piece. Not the anime, but. So then here, I'll go to the beginning. Warning. The following video is presented by. Yeah, here I just messed with the intro and I just made it funny. But usually I just go like here and What's go going on, guys? So right I there and then I cut it. And uh, I know I don't need it for this video. I already made the video, so I don't worry about it. Then I have a folder with my intro in it. And there was my intro, cut it, put it at the beginning. Boom. All the way to the beginning, drag this all the way here, and then just like that. And that's, I don't really need that kind of stuff right now, but that's pretty much how I do that. And then if I want to do the funny edits and stuff that I do, like the uh, when the face cam moves around and stuff. Okay, this ain't really a part where I do it, but let's say I want to do it here. So I cut it on each side. And this part still stays the same, so it's not it's not uh, any different. But then I can just go here to the face cam. And then I can go here, make it bigger. I always want to make sure the line's on it so I can see what I'm doing. And then I can, like, rotate it. Spin it anywhere. Make it go upside down. Make it go really zoomed in. Then I can just put it where I want it. That's where they, how I do that kind of stuff. The Howler. No, I don't want to save anything here. So this is the actual video. As you can tell, probably from the first one, the first original video without any editing was roughly a little over 10 minutes. And the complete edited video is only 5. So like when I do all these jump cuts with the face Boys, cam. Uh, 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 uh. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Okay, I've never... It's all just cut, and I have to do that individually for each one. And then same with this one. So that's pretty much how I do it. And then usually at the end, I usually fade it, which I didn't for this video. But in the top, in the bottom right here, I have a fade tool. Then I can just grab an edge of it, and I can drag for each one that I want to do. Go back to normal. And then Make it, it makes it where it All fades. Right, see you guys later. Have a good day. What do you mean I should get an actual outro? I don't know nothing. And that's usually how I do like a fade out. Or and I can do the same thing with it in in. I can just drag it over and then it just you know. Is that close enough for you? What's going on, guys? So I'm here playing. And that's pretty much how I do it. So I edit and then I go to make movie, and I save it to my hard drive as an MP4. Do that, and then I go to YouTube, I click upload, and then it goes on there. And that's pretty much it. And then for thumbnails, all that I really do is I just take pictures or something, of like, a, like a wallpaper of the game, and or I take a screenshot in-game if it's a certain game like Trove I can, or or like uh, The Forest. But for like games like these, I, know, I don't think really something like this is really a cool looking thumbnail. So I just took a uh, wallpaper of the game, then I just put the text over it. So that's pretty much it. That's how I edit, that's how I record, and that's how I make my YouTube gaming videos. So I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, drop a like, get subscribed if you haven't already, and uh, leave a comment down below about anything. I don't care. And uh, yeah, so have a good day, guys, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.